Shemot, Exodus 18. When Yitro, the priest of Midian, El Moshe's father-in-law, heard of at all that Elohim had done for Moshe and for at Yashara'el, his people, and that Yahuwah had brought Yashara'el out of Mitzrayim, then Yitro, Moshe's father-in-law, took at Tzipporah, Moshe's woman, after he had sent her back, and at her two sons, of which the name of the one was Gershom, for he said, I've been an alien in a strange land. And the name of the other was Eliezer. For the Elohim of my father, said he, was my help and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. And Yitro, Moshe's father-in-law, came with his sons and his woman unto Moshe into the wilderness where he encamped at the Mount of Elohim. And he said unto Moshe, I, your father-in-law Yitro, am come unto you and your woman and her two sons with her. And Moshe went out to meet his father-in-law and did obeisance and kissed him and they asked each other of their welfare, and they came into the tent. And Moshe told his father-in-law at all that Yahuwah had done unto Pharaoh, and to the Mitzrim for Yashara'el's sake, and at all the travail that had come upon them by the way, and how Yahuwah delivered them. And Yitro rejoiced for all the goodness which Yahuwah had done to Yashara'el, whom he had delivered out of the hand of Mitzrim. And Yitro said, Blessed be Yahuwah, who has delivered you out of the hand of the Mitzrim and out of the hand of Pharaoh, who has delivered at the people from under the hand of the Mitzrim. Now I know that Yahuwah is greater than all Elohim, for in the thing wherein they dealt proudly, he was above them. And Yitro, Moshe's father-in-law, took a burnt offering and sacrifices for Elohim. And Aharon came, and all the elders of Yashara El to eat bread with Moshe's father-in-law before Elohim. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moshe sat to judge at the people, and the people stood by Moshe from the morning unto the evening. And when Moshe's father-in-law saw at all that he did to the people, he said, what is this thing that you do to the people? Why sit you yourself alone, and all the people stand by you from morning unto evening? And Moshe said unto his father-in-law, Because the people come unto me to inquire of Elohim, when they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one and another, and I do make them know at the statutes of Elohim and at his Torah. And Moshe's father-in-law said unto him, The thing that you do is not good. You will surely wear away both you and this people that is with you, for this thing is too heavy for you. You are not able to perform it yourself alone. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give you counsel and Elohim shall be with you. Be for the people to Elohim word, that you may bring at the causes unto Elohim. And you shall teach them at ordinances and at Torah, 
and shall show them at the way wherein they must walk, and at the work that they must do. Moreover, you shall provide out of all the people able men, such as fear Elohim, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of tens. And let them judge the people at all seasons, and it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto you, but every small matter they shall judge. So shall it be easier for yourself, and they shall bear the burden with you. If you shall do at this thing, and Elohim command you so, then you shall be able to endure. And all this people shall also go to their place in peace. So Moshe hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. And Moshe chose able men out of all Yasharael, and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And they judged at the people at all seasons. The hard causes they brought unto Moshe, but every small matter they judged themselves. And Moshe let at his father-in-law depart, and he went his way into his own land.